Hi, this is Trish. Welcome to my busy kitchen. Today we go on the road for seven weeks to the next eight festivals. And it's really important for me and my family while we're on the road to eat healthy, which means you have to do a little preparation. So as well as packing for the next eight festivals, I am busy making bliss balls. And I wanted to share with you what I think the trick is about making good bliss balls. I'll tell you some of the ingredients. And I tend to freestyle, so I mix and match, and they're never the same, but they're always very good. I use um, dehulled hemp seeds, chia seeds, sunflower seeds, uh, pecan nuts, Brazil nuts, cashew nuts. I either put macadamia oil, hemp oil, or Udu's Choice, some good oil in, a little pinch of salt. Sometimes I make them with cacao, and... Sometimes I make them with dates and vanilla, organic vanilla extract. So I play around with flavours and textures. Now the key is milling all of your dry ingredients so you get to the, to the consistency that you like. I like some bits fine, I like some bits chewy and I like some bits chunky. So I play around with texture. Some I do fine, some I'll leave to the end. And with the joy of the Thermomix, I mean you don't really need a Thermomix to do this but I broken plenty of fighter mixes and magic bullets and neutral bullets and other blenders doing this thermomix is brilliant because you can actually put it on the reverse function so the blades go in reverse so you can keep the mix moving around the bowl and getting and get it as dry as possible now i think what is great about putting oil in is that when you go to roll you can create some real magic in your hand so get a spoonful, as much as I can clench very tight in the fist of my hand, so you've got a bit of a ball, and then roll. Now I'm actually applying quite a lot of pressure, and I've got my hands shaped like a ball. Your kids would be really good at this. But the more heat that I get in my hands with the oil, the smoother the texture I get. And I think that is what makes these so delicious and top-notch and good quality is that shininess of the oil and when you put those in the fridge they're going to go really rock hard and you've got that dry texture the crunchiness of some of the the other textures and the chia seeds and that oil making it all nice and shiny and smooth at the end so I hope you're liking my bite-size self-care videos no frills no makeup no hair no special lighting just my husband on the other side of the camera but I hope you're getting something out of them and please share with your community because my intention is to share my tips with my community and that's you. So have a great day. Thank you for watching.